Hey everyone, I wanted to film a really quick tutorial on how you can overlay lettering or images with texture in Procreate. Um, I've shown this in a few of my videos that I posted, but those videos are all really long and talk about all kinds of things. So I just wanted to do a quick video that strictly showed how to do this. So there's two different ways that you can do it. The first way is by inserting a texture that you either purchase from Creative Market or find on one of the many different websites that offers gold full textures or glitter textures or watercolor textures. And that is one of the easier ways to do it, um, but I'm going to show you both ways in this video. So first, I'm just going to write the word high, but you could write anything that you wanted for this and, or draw anything that you wanted. Okay, so that's kind of sloppy. I'm at a weird angle and I really messed up that heart, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna insert a gold foil texture that I purchased from Creative Market. It's from a shop called Studio Denmark and I will link to this gold foil pack in my video description. Okay, so I've brought in my texture and the most important thing is that the texture just completely covers whatever you're trying to overlay. So it doesn't have to cover the whole canvas if you bring it in and it's smaller than what you're trying to cover, you know, just resize it to make it cover it. Like if you were to bring it in and it was this small, you could just drag it and resize it and just make sure your word or picture is completely covered. So now that it's covered, I want to go to my layers. And the other thing you want to make sure of is that the inserted texture is directly above the layer that you want to overlay. So in this case it is. So now that I've made sure of those two things, I'm going to go back to my first layer where I wrote uh, high and I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on it and then click on it again and select. And now after my layers panel is gone, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on invert selection. And then I'm going to go back to my layers. I'm going to go to the gold full layer and I'm going to click on it and then click on clear. And now it's overlaid the word high with that gold foil texture. And now I can actually delete layer number one and it still leaves behind this gold foil texture and I can resize this or do whatever I want with this. So the other way to do this is you can create your own texture and overlay a word or an image with a texture that you created in Procreate. So for this example, I'm gonna bring in a flower sticker that I have. Oh, I hit gallery. Okay, I'm gonna bring in this flower sticker and this flower sticker comes with the digital planner that I sell in my Etsy shop. But it's just perfect to use for this example. Okay, so I brought in my flower and now I'm gonna create a watercolor texture. Um, so I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna select some watercolor brushes that I purchased in Creative Market. Let's see, and I'll link to these brushes in the description as well. I can't remember the shop name right off the top of my head, but I have it saved. And I love this pack of watercolor brushes. You get like 45 brushes with it. Um, so I'm gonna just select one of these and I'm gonna change my color to pink. And for this, you could do this part with your Apple Pencil. I've done it a million times with my Apple Pencil, but I like to use my Sensu Stylus to create textures because I just think it gives it a really cool effect. So I'm gonna go over that and I'll link to this stylus as well in the video description. I'm going over it a few times to make the texture kind of dark. And now I'm gonna select a lighter pink and I'm gonna stay on this layer. I'm gonna select another watercolor brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for my first example. I'm gonna to go to my flower layer with the black flower and I'm gonna click on select and then I'm gonna go down here and click invert selection and you know that it's selected because you can see the moving lines within the image. I don't think that you can see it on camera but um, when you're in Procreate you can definitely see that there's some moving lines in the shape of the flower. And now I'm gonna go back to the texture that I created. I'm gonna click on clear and then I'm gonna clear the black flower and now all that's left is this pretty watercolor flower. And that's how you do it. Um, feel free to contact me on my website if you have any questions at all or subscribe to my channel for more Procreate tutorials and plan with me videos. Thanks so much.